All right, everybody, what's going on? This is Throwing Knife Killer, and today I'm coming at you with a commentary. Um, and first off, that intro you just saw was made by my friend John. He is pretty dang good at editing and making intros and that type of thing. So if you guys would not mind, I would appreciate it, and I'm sure he would appreciate it, if you checked out his channel. The link will be in the description, um, as well as there's an annotation on the intro itself. Um, so anyhow... As I look at my screen right now while I'm watching this comment or this uh, video that I recorded with my HD PVR on my new computer, it shows like edges cut off. So I'm not sure why that is. Um, I don't think that's like that in game. It's not like it in game. Uh, it could just be on my computer. It's recording's a bit weirder with this computer um, because like resolution or something. But anyhow, hopefully it won't be like that in the final product. Um, so, moving on. In this commentary, I'm going to be talking about electronics, um, and I'm also going to be talking about games, like upcoming games and uh, different things with that. So, first off, um, electronics. So, right now, I'm recording with a mic. So, obviously, uh, because otherwise I wouldn't be doing a commentary, I have to have some sort of mic to uh, get this out to you. So, the mic I'm using is the one built in on my... Uh, Tiamat 2.2 headset by Razer. So this is a pretty awesome headset, and it was like $99. Um, and I use the the uh, headset in games, uh, like that I play with my friend, and um, I like in private matches. I'll talk to him with this. So hopefully the audio isn't too bad for you guys um, on YouTube, and I. I think it's all right in game and all that. So, anyhow, mics. Uh, a couple days ago, I was looking at mics um, for YouTube, you know, for commentaries in particular, and I came across, you know, the Blue Yeti, which I think I'd heard of before, and it was like eighty dollars. Um, and if I, you know, were to get a mic, that may be the mic I would get, but I don't plan on getting one of those mics. The reason being is it has to do with cameras. Um, not the Blue Yeti, that doesn't have to do with cameras, but what I'm possibly going to get in the future would be an external mic connected to a camera, um, as I look at cameras, and that mic I could also use for commentaries. Now, I was talking with my friend, um, and also, you know, he was talking to his dad because I was asking him about, like, his dad's camera, um, and, like, mic and whatever because he had said something about having an external mic. Now, Cameras don't always have the best quality microphones built in on them. Now, they're just there to get some sort of job done, I guess, and, you know, you might not always have the best audio with your cameras. And that's what an external mic's for. An external mic can plug into mm, some cameras, maybe most cameras, I'm not exactly sure, um, but some cameras it can't plug into. Now, there are mics that have, you know, audio jacks, or that can go right into a mic jack, like on a computer, and there are cameras with those jacks in it so you can plug like a mic right into that now that's like the kind of mic I'd be looking at getting one that I could record you know with a camera and get good audio but also one that I could plug into my computer and could do more commentaries with and uh, do some pretty nice uh, vocals with the you know commentary like it would record my voice very well and I'm hoping that it would do so that's why I'd want you know a mic and that mic probably could cost around eighty dollars in itself which would be like the price of a blue yeti and you know there's no point then in me buying a blue yeti when I can get one of those mics so I'm not going to be buying a blue yeti I don't think um anyhow back to cameras I don't know like extremely um a lot about cameras. Now I know things, you know, like megapixels are better, and um, of course I want to have 1920 by 1080 resolution, um, and different things, you know, some zoom and whatever. But as far as cameras go, I just don't know as much like as I do about computers. Now, computers I know uh, quite a bit about, I guess. Not everything, not very much, I guess, compared to all the knowledge on computers. But the thing is, is you know, I've at least know enough how to build my own computer because I did that um, recently and I know what features are good on things um, for the most part I guess and different things like that but I don't know all that stuff with you know uh, video cameras now like I said I purchased a computer now that's kinda why I'm not gonna want to buy a camera I'm gonna wanna wait for Christmas or my birthday uh, to get a new camera and to get a mic or phone for that camera because I spent like $1,200 around there on this computer uh, for gaming. 
And so, if I'm recording commentaries, I get, I'm going to have to wait a uh, while. I'm going to have to use this mic right now. And, yeah. So, back to cameras, though. The reason I want a camera is because I've had a flip camera um, for, like, a couple years now. I, like, freshman year, I got it um, for my birthday. And I'm a senior this year. I'm going into senior year. And, you know, the camera's getting older and it's not the greatest camera as far as features go but it's a flip camera flip ultra HD which is nice 720p um, and it does the job so far um, but it doesn't have you know the greatest features on it where I would like to get a better camera one that um, maybe costs around three hundred dollars or something like that and with that camera I can record my airsoft reviews maybe some action videos and such with it um, and so yeah the cameras I have now like I said my flip but I also have a hero 3 GoPro hero 3 camera um, which I can use for first person videos which is cool moving on to games now I pre-ordered the hardened edition of Call of Duty Ghosts just the other day um, and I watched some things about the multiplayer reveal and those kinda got me hyped up for Call of Duty Ghosts because Call of Duty Ghosts looks pretty dang cool there's things remastered in it um, now as you can see I'm playing Black Ops in this game Black Ops or in this commentary Black Ops isn't my favorite game Black Ops 2 that is um, I just didn't really love it I've played like over a day on it and that is it now other Call of Duty is like World of War I played 22 days on it and I started Xbox Live in like March of 08 after you know it had or March of 09 after it would uh, it came out in 08 but I uh, still played like 22 days of multiplayer time on that and like over 40 days of Modern Warfare 2 but this game only one what's up with that yeah the reason being is I just didn't really like this I guess at first you know it's like oh this is awesome but then after a while it's like no this this really isn't that great um, I guess compared to other games now still Modern Warfare 2 and uh, Call of Duty World of War those are like my favorite two games out there um, for the Call of Duty franchise but this game I'm actually I've been playing it you know today I was playing it and yesterday because it's actually like it's 2:20 a.m. so I'll say today is in Friday, um, and yeah, I guess Friday, I've been playing it, I was playing it, and I, you know, I was recording stuff for a commentary, and it really wasn't as bad, I guess, as, you know, I'd thought, um, I could see, I could get kills, my KD was going up, because my KD was .79, and now it's going up, so I can get that carried back up, maybe get a few more commentaries with Black Ops 2 before the hard edition of Ghost comes out. Now, back to Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, as well as cameras. The Prestige Edition comes with a camera. And that's basically the only difference between the Hardened Edition and the Prestige Edition. $80, and for that $80, you're getting this water resistant, um, shock proof camera. And it's like, you know, I've got a GoPro. Um, if I'm only going to get a camera, I'm not going to get the Prestige Edition. I've never gotten the Prestige Edition before, but I was actually, you know, thinking to get this Prestige Edition, but I decided not to just because of the fact that it only came with a camera, um, and that was all that it came with more than the Hardened Edition. So, the Hardened Edition comes with different features such as Paracord. Um, the Paracord is like a wristband, and I guess it like extends out to 9 feet of Paracord or something like that, so... Yeah, and it also comes with DLC um, and the Season Pass, which is really nice. Call of Duty Ghosts, if you buy the Hardened Edition for $120, you get the $60 game plus other stuff. And the $60 game comes in a steel case, which is awesome. Um, and, you know, you get a $50 worth of Season Pass. So that's already $110 if you're going to buy those things separately. You might as well pay for the Hardened Edition and get more features with that. Um, which is what I did. I've gotten the Hardened Edition for the past three Call of Duties, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. And I love the Steel Series case, or the Steel Book, or whatever it is. It's pretty dang awesome. Not, I don't know that Steel Series, but I apologize there. Um, anyhow... Uh, you know, I got the Hardened Edition because that's the least I was going to get, is the Hardened Edition. Possibly the Prestige Edition, but I didn't. Um, anyhow, there's other games coming out too, like Battlefield 4. I was going to pre-order the Deluxe Edition of Battlefield 4, get the beta for computer. Like I said, I've got this computer, it's a gaming machine, and other stuff too. And, 
it can game Battlefield 3 Ultra settings. And so I'm going to get Battlefield 4 for PC if I, or when I get it. Um, but I'm not pre-ordering it, I don't think. Not, you know, to get the beta and not for the $70 d digital deluxe edition that comes with bonuses. The reason being is that Call of Duty comes out seven days after Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4, you know, October 29th, Call of Duty, November 5th. And my birthday is November 30th, so I'm thinking that I'll just wait to get Battlefield 4 until my birthday. So uh, I can wait, you know, I can play Call of Duty at first, then just wait and get Battlefield 4. Other games coming out, another game, Daisy Standalone, I'm waiting for that. Um, and whenever that's done and they're releasing an alpha, I will be happy because I really want to play Daisy Standalone. Um, and I don't know when that's going to be released for the standalone. They've got to wait until a milestone passes uh, to be alpha worthy. And so, yeah, I would, I really want the Daisy standalone to come out. Anyhow, guys, uh, that's about it for this commentary because the video is about to be over. I thank you guys for watching. A rating is appreciated. Um, and, you know, if you guys want to check out my channel, you can go ahead. Uh, so thank you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out, everybody.